Welcome to the 13th video. In this bit, we will be focusing on creating a responsive navigation or the menu component, uh, which is one of the tricky ones because there is again a lot of predefined uh, colors and sort of predefined uh, margins, which we will have to uh, somehow polish. And uh, yeah, so let's look at that. The menu itself is adding some weird stuff here, uh, as you could see before when I was uh, opening the menu. You go here, open the menu, and now it's it's gray. And we didn't set up any gray, so we need to figure it out why is that. So, Webflow itself, this component is adding and trying to help you sort of, so you can see it appearing. So this one is uh, gray, obviously, we don't want gray. We want to have a white menu. So, nav menu, we will do nav menu white and stuff is st starting to appear. We will do nav menu, what's the, what's the button here? 35, right? 35. So we will do 35 on both sides. And then each link will have its own spacing. Let's do 10. Maybe we can also increase the size of those items so it's way easier to read them. This one is only one which is aligning to the left. <laughs> and why is this centered? So one thing which we definitely don't want to do is nav divide the language. I have 30, 38 pixels, so we want to do width 100% to still have the divider, but do height, height of one, have zero and zero margin. Nice. We can increase the mar margin here as well though, 10 and the main button. Why is this one still not aligned to the left? None of them needs the, the, the margin to the right. Okay. What is going on? That is interesting margin. <laughs> what was that? Interesting. So we have the stuff. We can do some padding so the menu is not that squeezed. Each of the links is now uh, like this. And we probably want to have it clickable from the whole thing. So we will remove the paddings here and each of the menu link we'll get the, get the 35, which obviously is causing some harm here because now this one is not, uh, not uh, expanding to the whole thing. And we probably want to do some nice stuff with the button as well. So let's figure it out how to do that. We want to have everything nicely white, which we will do like this. We will have vertical flexbox, which will put the coming soon below. And this one will expand to the size. There is some spacing six, thanks to the coming soon label, which we will remove. And the text block itself will again have the spacing 35. Awesome. This one will have 10, so we need to add spacing from the bottom as well. So we will have 10, so it's nicely next to each other. The coming soon can actually be slightly more to the, to the, to the thing. So it can be minus eight maybe. Yep, it's way, way nicer next to each other. Let's increase the menu slightly as well. And then the last thing is the button, which we will put from side 35, but only in the menu. We don't want to do some crazy stuff with these buttons, with these buttons. So how do we do that? We will apply a combo class to uh, join nav button 
and then do 35 from side and do some margins again at least five and I would for the menu I think just for the purpose of that I would slightly increase the size so it's again easy easy here for clicking on it so I think that's looking really nice I think that's looking really nice let's check awesome menu is nicely appearing we want to do also I think it will be nice to have it with some sort of slight shadow so it's really visible what's the what's the menu because it's now sort of like blending into the into the screen and we also don't want the gray here which is ridiculous where is the gray one coming from since this one is already transparent it's transparent now great so but we want to as i said to have the either shadow or a or a border i'm not sure which one is better but i guess in this case we can do, go with a shadow with a um with a border maybe we can do two pixels so it's visible that it's coming from somewhere or maybe we can try how the how the shadow would look like i guess why not open menu and then instead of this we can try to do some box shadow six uh 180 and then do dark but let's do like 10 pixels only so and that's looking really nice already i think i think that's the best option so how does this looks like amazing we want to do also one more thing and then we will be hopefully done already uh I would uh, do some nice, oh, there is some stuff appearing below. Uh, we can easily sort this out by moving the shadow more further. Now it's not appearing. If we will decrease the size as well. And let's do only six because it was appearing on the top of the menu as well now it's fine yes and that still looks okay so we want to do the last thing which i wanted to do we want to do nice hover state for the menu which we will do like the color of this section so once you hover over something it hovers it covers the whole thing we're having again a slight issue with the coming soon which now really bothers me we can fake it for now to have the whole thing having the the hover state which we will do just so we can wrap this up let's see how that's gonna look yeah it only covers the coming soon so let's let's sort it quickly as well this one is tricky one but once it go once we will have the page for the mentors i think it will be it will be easy business let's do it see index two and that's already fine button doesn't have the the thing since it's button but i think that's good cool so we have that we now just want to make sure that the menu is not 35 pixels that's i think that's the last bit 
So if we open the menu here, you can see it's have, it has the 35, which we set up before, and we want to change that to 30 for the landscape. And here as well, 30, 30, and button 30. Great, and then for the phone, we want to have this 24, 24, and 24, and we are done. Love it. Awesome. So the last bit is the custom icon for the menu. So we have a menu button here. Let's drop the menu icon here. Hi DPI. Remove this icon and we have it. And now the only thing which I'm slightly worried about is that it's now not aligned with the rest of the content. So we will put it minus 18. So it's moved to the side, thanks to the padding. Again here and here. And if we check, it opens the menu and it looks like this, epic. So this is it. Now we have the home page. And uh, in general, this is how you can create simple website with all the breakpoints. In the next bits, uh, I'll be focusing on creating a uh, sub page called opportunities or internships. Uh, then we will be focusing on creating a blog detail and blog homepage. Uh, and then in the next part, I'll be helping you get the SEO optimization in the place. And then we will make the page live. Uh, none of this stuff is, is designed at this point. Uh, we will be creating all of it uh, in, uh, in Webflow. So don't forget that all of that was basically as a live stream of me also designing it, which is quite fun. And uh, it's interesting way that now we can also start designing stuff without actually having the design straight in Webflow, which I think is uh, kind of futuristic. And don't forget, you can ask me any, at any point uh, if you have any issues uh, or if you run into any problems with Webflow in the comments, I'll be super happy to help you. And again, the whole site is clonable on Webflow Showcase. So feel free to uh, get the whole site to your profile and explore any of those uh, elements or codes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next part.